So no matter what sort of aquarium you have, regardless whether it's goldfish, marine fish, axolotls, cichlids, it makes no difference. Every single aquarium has got a capacity. So that means it can handle a certain amount of stock in the aquarium. And there's various things that are going to govern the capacity of the aquarium. One is the amount of aeration, how much oxygen's in the tank, how much um, surface agitation you've got, um, the quality and amount of the food you feed, um, all will make a, a, a variance. But the thing that makes the most variance is the quality of the filter material that you choose. So this filter material here is your standard noodle which comes in most standard aquariums and filters. Now the aquarium and filter companies are not necessarily biological research companies and don't necessarily have the same grade of filter material as you can upgrade it to. So it's been said, so let's assume that this media here which is called matrix is 20 times the capacity of this noodle here and this one here which is called marine pure is four times the capacity of the um, matrix well in regards to denitrification anyway so therefore the more advanced your filter material the higher the capacity of your aquarium so therefore if you're trying to run especially a marine aquarium or a cichlid aquarium with these ones here you need a ridiculous disproportionate amount more media in order to support what you're trying to do so increasing from that media to the matrix is going to see a huge capacity increase and then improving from the matrix to the marine pure is going to see a further capacity increase so it's really important to look at the type of filter material that you have in your aquarium because that plays an absolutely vital role in the capacity of your aquarium and as I said every aquarium has got a capacity and the capacity of the aquarium is going to set how many fish you can have in the aquarium before the fish all start dying. So what nature will do is allow you to have a certain amount of fish and then when you exceed that amount as, as you get more fish or as some grow or whatever once you're above the capacity line nature will send a disease like white spot and then your fish will die off below that capacity mark and then nature will go back to equilibrium. So a lot of the time you'll think you're getting a disease um, for the sake of the disease, but you're normally you're getting a disease because the capacity of your aquarium has been breached and then nature actually sends it off. And that's exactly the same as what happened in, for example, London in the medieval times with the Black Plague. Then once they improved the sanitation and improved the, the capacity of the city, then everyone got healthy again. And it really wasn't the disease, it was actually the the conditions um, or the capacity of that area that had been succeeded. Now the other thing that makes a big impact as well is what media you choose. So if you go for a carbon, a carbon mat, anything like that, the capacity would be nowhere near as high as if you go for a premium media like polyfilter and the introduction of something like polyfilter will really make a huge difference on the capacity as well. So have a good look at the filter material that you've got because the filter material that you've got will absolutely govern the results you get in the aquarium, particularly long term.